Hey everyone, it's me, Lauren, Lowe's Beauty from YouTube. I am coming with you after a very successful day so far. I actually um, had a presentation in one of my art classes for college, and that went really good. I got a lot of good feedback, um, and I think I did really good for um, what I had to do. Um, also, I have a presentation coming up around 7 tonight, which I'm really excited about. It's like a graphic design Adobe Photoshop um, course for, because I'm an art major, and I get to show my five prints that I um, captured, developed, and printed in a specific order and way for Adobe Photoshop, which I'm really excited because I love the way my pictures turned out. I really love how I edited them and the quality of the prints as well. So that's later on tonight. Um, obviously I can't film in there, um, or at least I don't think so, but I wouldn't anyway because I'm way too shy for that type of thing so far. So anyways, um... Yeah, I have a Sephora haul for you. Um, I actually have mostly samples to show you. I actually went to the store and got a makeover with my cousin. We um, got color matched, so I know the foundation that I was really interested in actually matches me so well and um, works with my skin along more than any foundation I basically ever tried, which I'll get to later on in this video. I also have um, more samples, um, but actually three three packages um, that only have a tiny thing in each of them that um, I basically only bought for a dollar um, and you know got the samples and stuff because I had a free shipping code and whatnot so I'm really excited um, hopefully this video isn't going to be so friggin long but if it is I'm really sorry maybe get out the water and whatever you need to stay hydrated and whatnot um, and nonetheless I really hope you enjoy this haul Let's get on with it. So, as always, the Sephora box looks like this. You know, the beauty authority we all grow and know to love. So, I have three of these major boxes, which I loved when they put it in um, the little kind of plastic bubble wrap type packaging. I just feel that it's not as wasteful. I don't know why they do that and why they stopped doing that before. So anyways, nonetheless, um, I actually have a couple orders to show you and then one thing from Lush along with a sample there. And this is hopefully going to be a really exciting haul because I know when I watch hauls and stuff, I love the freebies because, you know, you can get so many of them and they're free and you don't have to pay for them. So that's the best part of the hauls, I think, anyway. Um, yeah, so... Sorry for this really awkward face that I'm about to make opening these packages. Uh, they're just sealed so tightly. And, I don't know, I don't want to hurt myself. So, I just think it's fun looking at people opening packages, though. It's, I don't know, really interesting to see. So, of course, all this bubble wrap, bubble wrap, I'm sorry, uh, paper that we don't need that I always throw away. Um, or I recycle it and I give it to my mom for like packaging and stuff. Um, receipt, which I don't need. Okay, awesome. So, this is the one thing that I got. I don't know if they're different colors in each box, I forget. But there's these nifty hair ties they could do as a bracelet around your wrist for like cutesy type of thing. Or they're just really great for hair ties. They don't pull out your hair as much as other ones. They're just really nice and flexible. I love those. I have so many of them. So also I love... Oh, excuse me. I love when they give these sample fragrance cards. Because they look like just a regular post snow. But really, they're actually a fragrance for a one-time use. Which is great because if you don't know the fragrance already, you can test it out, see how it smells on your um, chemistry. Um, and um, actually, I already got this one, but I actually like it. It's a little stronger, actually a lot stronger than my normal taste. But I think for those days that I want to feel extra fancy and whatnot, this is actually the Giorgio Armani C 
um, a tribute to modern woman apparently. And these little um, fragrance patches actually has just enough for each of your wrists, maybe along your neck, um, on each side of your face, and wherever else you want to really put it. And these are great because, like I said, you can try it, see if it works with your chemistry, and just overall see if you like the fragrance, which is super nice and it's totally for free. It's actually not even included in one of the free samples. It's just kind of what they send with each of the packaging sometimes, so it's really nice. Also, um... I don't know if it's just because I'm a VIB, but I've been getting these cards for free makeovers. Um, and they're awesome. They're 15 minutes, and you basically can get smoky eye, everyday eye, essential eyeliner. You can treat and conceal, blush bronze, perfect lips, polished brows, which I'll probably do one day. Um, just to see, you know, what's color coordinated for my eyebrows, whatnot. Um, like I said, you can do a flawless foundation plus color IQ, which I did my last makeover. And also, I do want to correct myself. The last time I said faux lashes were included in the makeover, it's funny. Actually, you have to buy them and they put it on for you, which I think it's kind of funny because I could do that myself. I just think it's funny that they did that. But whatever, you actually have to buy the lashes and then it's nice, you know, you can see them, how they put it on you and whatnot. But this is awesome. It's free 15 minute makeover. Um, also, I want to just mention, they were doing the steal for Diva Curl. Yeah, Deva Curl or I think Diva is how they want to pronounce it. One Condition Ultra Creamy Daily Conditioner. This is one ounce. It's actually as big as it looks. It's huge. Um, if I got three of these, which I think I will have now that I have three packages or I have another one and another one from before, but three of these is actually a full size on Sephora.com. Three ounces goes for $9 if I'm not mistaken and this is totally for free. So I already have over a full ounce of prod of full size uh, size product and I didn't have to pay anything for it. I'm actually not going to use this because I don't have curly hair. I mean I guess I could because I have wavy hair when I get out of the shower but my hairstyle is mostly straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm and I also use the one hair care so I don't really like to switch it up if I don't have to because it's working for me. But I'm going to give this to my cousin Emily. I think she's really going to enjoy it. You know obviously it depends on how much hair you have but this could go for maybe be two uses maybe one if you have really thick long hair but I mean I'm gonna give her like maybe five of these and she's gonna love it um and I think she's it's gonna work really well for her hair type and I'm really excited to just give her this and I got her some Essie nail polish stickers and I don't know check Dollar Tree for those Essie nail polish stickers because I got like six of them for six dollars when that would have normally cost me full price about sixty dollars so crazy still go check your Dollar Tree like whenever possible because they have like really awesome deals mostly like full-size products obviously for only one dollar so how can you beat that like that's crazy okay um and then I have this Repito Paris perfume which um, I'm either gonna wear it see how I like it um, but I actually tried this already and it reminds me of my mom so I gave her one of my samples before and I'm probably just gonna end up doing that um, with each of these I get and the reason why I actually picked this is because I don't know if there was a glitch in the computer on Sephora.com, but this Repito Paris looked like a perfume, which it actually is, but it was displaying two types of products. So it actually said Benefit Eye Makeup Remover. I don't know if people have the same issue. This, I thought I was getting the Benefit Eye Makeup Remover like in a little vial like they do the Makeup Forever setting spray mist which I'll show you in a couple seconds or whatever but this is actually a perfume which I don't mind it's totally for free you get quite a bit of product um, and it's a really expensive fragrance obviously but I'm just going to give it to my mom she actually really likes it and it's not my style at all so I really don't mind then the Moisture Surge CC Cream which I might 
end up giving a try um, today because it's more natural and I'm just going to school, you know, and I don't need a lot of coverage normally. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream, which I've actually haven't ever tried a CC cream, so this is going to be really interesting and fun to try. So that was in that box. Um, talking about Makeup Forever and what I thought the makeup remover was going to come in is almost like, um, let me just open it up for you. Oh geez, I hope I'm not getting a cold. That would be awful. So, you know, this is Makeup Forever settings, right? Looks like a fragrance mist sample, but it's actually a setting spray mist. How cool is that? I love how creative Sephora is getting with their samples. They're free samples. Just ones you would normally get at checkout. This is a um, pretty good sample, actually. This is how many ounces? I don't know if it tells you. Well, I'll just take it out of the packaging. It's way, way bigger than... Oops. It's way, way bigger than a fragrance sample. As you can see, it's almost the full length of my palm. Um, I've tried this before, and as I've heard with a lot of setting sprays, it kind of leaves you really matte, a little maybe on the tacky side, very kind of textury, which I don't really like. I like to be moisturized. Now what I did find is I liked what my face looked like, I just didn't necessarily like how it felt. Um, and I can already tell that's going to be a really long video. I apologize. Hopefully I'm giving you a lot of, like, tips and tricks or whatever. And I really just want to honestly have fun and show you all the samples I got. So hopefully you guys don't think it's going to be crazy long, which it probably will be. Or at least I hope you don't mind anyway. Um, this is the pro secret to long-lasting sweat-proof makeup. It's, um, a really good sample. I actually have two of them. So, yeah, really excited for that. I also have the Hannah Marie Paris beautiful packaging. Oh my gosh, it's like, kind of looks like crystals or whatever, butterflies, and I guess it's Hannah Marie, Morai maybe. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of the Door um, Blooming Bouquet packaging. I love when things go solid matte white, maybe shiny, all white. It just reminds me of Dior, it's so pretty. I'm actually going to put a little on. And I don't know if they're getting bigger with their samples, but again, it's pretty big. Oh my goodness. When I first sm it smells really good, by the way. When I first smell this, I kind of get a little cotton candy, sugary notes, like, I don't know, like bubblegum candy. And then it kind of tones down to a floral, maybe roses. Um, some type of really kind of sweet floral. And the dry note is just, oh, it's like, it almost reminds me of, it's really odd because I would think this is floral. Because I mean it has like roses or hydrangea maybe right there. Um, it reminds me kind of of the, why can't I think of it? I know I have it right here. Is it? Oh, here we go, I think. Nope. I don't know, that really cotton candy um, fragrance. Is this it? Oh my gosh, why can't I find it? And I don't know why I'm blanking either. I know you guys are probably already like, it's this right now, I can't believe you forgot. Um, oh, pink sugar. And I still didn't even find it. That's crazy. This smells so good. It's a little heavier. Mostly like a nighttime fragrance. Maybe middle of the day if you will. Um, I really like it. I don't think I would necessarily go out and buy this. Because it is a little heavy. I like my perfumes kind of lighter. But the way this smells really kind of smells amazing. Um, so yeah. I would just stock up on samples or whatever. And maybe get like. 100 point perk of like a rollerball if they do ever do that because when they did that with that one perfume um black and white by Ashley and Ashley Mar oh gosh Mary Kate and Ashley 
I loved it. They, and I have like three of those rollerballs for like 300 points. It's 300, yeah. Amazing. Also, funny, I have right now, without even opening the other two, like I said before, I have, oh gosh, okay, now I can do it, a full size, three ounces, which is normally $9 on the website, for free. And they're all going to my cousin Emily, which she's going to love. Maybe I'll even show you the Essie strips. I think I will. This video is going to be super long. Hang in there, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, I got, um, oh yeah, more of those sample cards. Makeovers. Um, which I actually did bring two of these into the store. And me and my cousin Emily, like I said, got a makeover. Um, got two more of the Miracle... Um, worker anti-age for blemish prone skin. Um, if you have dry to combination skin, I would recommend, maybe even if you have oily skin, I'd recommend maybe only half of this or, or a quarter. Maybe do this in steps because this can get, it's really, it feels nice at first, it's very moisturizing, and then it kind of like dulls down to like a matte finish, which if you're putting on a moisturizer, unless you're putting on makeup right after, you don't want a matte finish, you kind of want a glowy moisturized feel. Um, so only do a half of this if you have like dry to combination skin. Obviously you want enough moisture, but tones down to a matte finish. So I have two of those. Okay, also, I have a couple hundred point perks, and they messed up on my order and like a OCC lip tar slightly leaked, the um, clear one a little bit, and then I didn't get some samples or whatever, the free samples, they gave me 200 points, and I said, what better way to try out new serums, even though I've already tried Genifique, uh, this is 0 0.27 fluid ounce. has a little dropper each one of these, which I think is really handy. I love Genifique. I think it's amazing. Um, do your research. Maybe go online, see what the benefits are and stuff. I don't want to go into it too much. It leaves your skin really glowy, really moisturized. This is Alginist. It's like a new one that I wanted to try. <coughs> Excuse me. Advanced Anti-Aging Repairing Oil. Biotechnology from San Francisco. Awesome stuff. Also has a dropper. Um, I actually use this a lot and I only am down to like half of the 7 mil, which is right up top. Um, it's really amazing. This is 0 0.23 fluid ounce. It's a little smaller, but for some reason they're like, this one's bigger than this one. I don't know how they do that. Probably packaging. Um, I just got like a half fluid ounce of the serum for free, so I thought that was great. Great for tra traveling as well. Then I got, um, this is a full size product that I actually did buy. This is a Great Kisser Lip Moisturizing Balm by Soap and Glory. This is in the peach one. I've used it already. I love it. It smells like, I don't know, real peaches? Like the bath, oh, I'm sorry, the body shop, um, peach, um, body scrub and body wash smells like, smells like real peaches. Um, it smells so good, um, very moisturizing, kind of leaves like you're a milky, peachy, kind of like translucent, but you can still tell it's kind of peachy. It's kind of like, um, mm, kind of like, I, I can't even think of the word, like a nude. It's like a nude peach. It kind of meets your lips out a little bit, which is cool. Smells like peaches, absolutely amazing. Um, I actually smell, whoa, keep dropping things, sorry. Um, I actually smelled when I got samples in a makeover, um, this one and the vanilla bean one to see which one I kind of like better because I heard they both smelled amazing, which is really true. They both smell awesome. I just was really intrigued by the peach one because, um, I have the creme apricot by Christian Dior, um, cuticle and nail cr creme, um, which I've used so much. I love it. And this smells really amazing. Um, and I was like, I want this smell, but for my lips. And obviously, I'll show you the other thing. Christian Dior um, Creme de Rose Lip Balm, which I've used so much of. 
which smells like pure roses and it's not even like an overwhelming rose it's really of like a subtle relaxing like mm, rose like you just want it all over your face but you're only going to put it on your lips obviously it smells so good I really like putting it at bedtime because it's almost like such a luxurious feel and smell that it just makes you want to go to bed like it truly relaxes you anyways I'm getting off topic I'm sorry um, which I have to show you in case you didn't know, before I keep going, if I can find it, I always have, oh, here we go, right in front of my face. I also have the Dior, um, Abricot Serum for her nails. Um, all, I mean these two especially, the Abricot, um, and the Nail Serum, the same scent or whatever, and the Lip Balm. It's like a ritual to me. I don't do it every day because it there's only a little product and it's so expensive um, that I do it like a couple times out of the week. Um, and those are times I just want an, a little extra relaxation, a little extra pampering. Anyways, if you don't have those three products by Christian Dior, save up the money. It's going to be about $77 and it's going to be worth it. It's a splurge, but you're treating yourself, and it's totally and amazingly luxurious. And I'm I'm going to buy those three every time I'm out. It's just a routine that I don't ever want to give up. But anyways, um, like I was saying, the apricot, apricots and peaches are basically similar fruits. They smell very similar. Um, the Great Kisser. I was so interested in the peach one because... It basically smells like the apricot does, but the apricot has a little something extra, which I, I really adore. I just don't know what it is, but it's close enough. And now I can have this on my lips. <laughs> so yeah, as you can tell, I've used a little, I've dented it as well, um, which I'm very proud of. I'm using my stuff and I'm not just buying it to buy it, which I hate doing. Anyways, uh, what else to show you? I have, I think, one or two samples of this, or a third. I've actually used one in the shower, and I actually really like it. This is the Derma Doctor KP Duty, what is it, a, um, chemical plus physical exfoliation. Basically means there's chemicals that are going to exfoliate along with the physical grains that you're doing with physical exfoliation. It's just a great product, but I will say I love my fat girl... Uh, slim body scrub way better. I love the way that smells. All that line smells like minty goodness. Um, it kind of has like a little fruit to it. It's crazy. It just smells amazing. Um, I like that a lot better and I would not purchase this because I already found one that works a little better for me. I think the results are even a lot stronger with the Fat Girl Slim products. Love it. Firm believer in those. Really expensive but worth it. <laughs> Um, the samples that I got in store, actually, if you didn't know, when you go to the store, you can pick out three sample products that they are allowed to give you on the floor of the store. Um, that goes for fragrances, like they will literally take a like pump, a little atomizer, and put you a little perfume in whatever perfume you choose. You can get skincare, moisturizers, body lotions, makeup, you can try lip balms, you can try the OCC lip charts, which I've done before. Anyways, so the um, perfume that I got, I've already tried the fresh sugar, um, just normal one, I forget what it's called. This is the fresh sugar Liche. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. This smells so good. It's very fresh, very sugary, um, sugar and lemon, and then it has like a creaminess to it. I don't know if that's even how to describe it. It smells a little better, I want to say, than the original, which I've loved. And I actually, they're kind of equally good because they all have equal. They all have different things to contribute. So I take that back. I love them both the same. That's fresh sugar liche, the perfume by Fresh. Definitely try it if you can. Going on with the Fat Girl Slim products, this is the Arm Candy by Bliss. Um, I've wanted to try this. I've actually tried all the products except the Fat Girl Slim Machine, which I wanted, I want for so long, but it's um, not in my price range right now. Um, it's $145 for this machine, and honestly, I don't know how good it's going to work. 
So I'm waiting. Maybe uh, splurge a little on Christmas or whatever for myself. Comes like this. It has a, a little um, pink beads in it, which probably have extra specialness to it with the ingredients. It smells really nice and minty, actually. Let me smell that again. Yeah, it's very strong, minty. I don't even know. You'll have to smell it for yourself. Um, most of the products, except for the ones in the jar, obviously, have like a product, not product, it has an applicator that massages into the skin when you buy the full size, um, which is handy. I mean, it gives you more of a, more uh, result, probably. Then I got the Ole Hendrickson Pr Pure Truth Melting Cleanser, which I have been trying. Now, let me tell you, I'm going to buy the full size of this. You have to be careful because you want to use this first to get the product out with a Q-tip. Always do it with a Q-tip. Take a little out, put it on your hand, wet your face first, put it through your hands, massage it into your skin and what on your face. Um, because if you put water a little bit in this, it will turn to the milky consistency that it turns from oil to cream cleanser that the cleanser is known to do. Um, mine's already a little milky consistency because I got water in it before I knew. So when I buy the full size, I'm going to be taking that Q-tip each time and a new one if I need a little more product at that time. Because if not, you're going to get, you're going to basically use the product before you use it, if you know what I mean. This feels so amazing. When I put it on my face, it feels almost like I'm putting a moisturizer, moisturizer on my face but it's milky and cleansing enough to be a cleanser. It's not an exfoliator by any means, but it, it just makes my skin feel so smooth. And usually when I use cleansers, I try not to use them so heavily because they usually have drying agents in them, um, which I directly need a moisturizer right after. This is almost so moisturizing where, you know, those days that I'm out the door quickly, I don't even really need to put on a moisturizer, which I don't re recommend anyone doing by any means. Because right after you cleanse, you should really follow up with a moisturizer. But I'm just saying, like, if I had to, I could probably just go away with just using this. So moisturizing, makes my face feel glowy afterwards, very natural looking. Um, and just follow up with a moisturizer and you're really good to go. Maybe tone or however you do your steps, but... This and moisturizing, and it's a piece of cake, and it, it makes your face feel good, which is really important to me. Not only do you have to look good, but you have to feel good if not trying to be corny or anything. Also, when I got color matched or whatever, I've been always wanting to try the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. I'm in number 53. Matches me really well. I'm a little darker than I thought I would be. Maybe that's because summer just ended or whatever and I'm a little darker. I love this foundation so much. I'll go into a further review because I am going to buy the full size eventually. I'll go into a full full review later. I, all I have to say it's the best foundation I've ever tried. Um, and I have dried a combination skin in the summer, oily or whatever, but mostly dried a combination. Works perfectly, even if it is matte. I don't know what it is about it. It worked really well with my face structure. <laughs> my face structure. My uh, face chemistry, I guess. On to the last two packages. I'm trying to do this quick. Um, hopefully it's going to be a video that you enjoy. I mean, I love making them regardless, but hopefully it's not going to be way too long for you guys. I'm really sorry if it is, but I'll stop saying that. <laughs> Again, receipt, don't need. Again, one ounce Diva Curl going right to my cousin Emily. Have four of those already or whatever. Uh, Living Proof Prime Style Extender. Um, this is 33 fluid ounce. Clinique CC Cream. Um, hair tie. And then I actually did this order... Um, for someone else. So I got a Makeup Forever birthday gift. Comes with a lipstick and mascara. So that's that one. And I did this order for someone else as well. So I think I have another birthday gift in there. 
Come on. Another receipt. What is this? Oh, yeah. I've been wanting to try this out now. I don't even know if this is my color. But, you know, you can try it on, see if it works with your skin, like, whatever, and see if it looks good on you, regardless of your skin color, because I think this is the only one that they offered. Um, what is this one? Warm Toffee. It could be my color, I don't know. Feels like a feather, wears like an ink. That's kind of cool. You get this, like, really small sample. I don't even know if that's enough to cover my face, but it probably is. Then I have Clinique CC Cream. Another Diva Curl. Um, ooh. Another Makeover. And where's my knife? Where's my knife? Okay, anyway. I have another one of these. Oh, it's just the C by Giorgio Armani. I have so many of those. I have another birthday gift because I placed this order for someone else under someone else's name and then I have another hair time um so I think anyway that's all the stuff I got at Sephora um yeah I think so so the last two things I want to show you always when you go into Lush I actually am lucky enough to have a Lush like maybe 25-30 minutes away from me um which is still a quite a distance but it's worth it because it's at this casino um has a sephora there it has tiffany's it has swartzky uh, yankee candle all the goodness and it's right in the location and then you can go out to eat or play the slots if you want just a great experience so whenever you walk into lush don't be afraid um just ask for a sample if you want to try something you know, say you want to see how it works with your skin, you want to see if you want to buy the full size after the results or whatever. So I got um, Ocean Salt Scrub. I've already tried this, but hey, it's free. They can't really turn you down for a sample. Um, and I love it. And I am going to buy the full size. I just wanted to try it for a little longer. It smells like a margarita. It smells like a salted lime mar margarita. Um, it smells absolutely amazing. You can use this for your body. It's an exfoliation for your body or for your face. It's always follow up with a moisturizer. It makes your skin glow like nothing else. <laughs> Almost nothing else. It's amazing. Definitely recommend it. And then I finally, <coughs> I bought this. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I finally went ahead and tried a fresh face mask. Now these are really kind of small. They're like 2.6 ounces or something. 2.1 ounce. Okay, well that's even smaller than I thought. Um, this is the Catastrophe Cosmetic Face Fresh Face Mask. What I liked about this is it not only smelled delicious, there's actually real blueberries in it, and it has natural antioxidants for you, so kind of like an anti-aging uh, mask. Um, I don't know. It kind of makes my face, it's weird. I put this on and it makes my face kind of powdery, kind of pale looking. But in the same sense, it's almost like very soothed, soothing. My face is relaxed. It feels butter soft. It feels so good. Um, I think the powder finish kind of throws me off. Um, maybe try this in a sample before you get the full size. Um, let's see. Because it has soothing chamomile, Irish moss, and calamine with rich in blueberries. Blueberries as well. It's all fresh ingredients. I love it completely. Um, I also tried the chocolate cupcake face mask, which is normally for oily skin. But if you use a tiny bit of it, it's actually really beneficial for your skin. And it's amazing. Just don't use too much of it and don't use it like every day, obviously. So this is amazing. I actually have to use this up like within a week or whatever, because there is an expiration date, uh, what's today, I think today's the 24th, and I have, like, maybe four days to use it, so I'm really excited to maybe use it every day, and you get maybe three to four, they say, uses out of this, I think it's more along the lines of eight, because you don't need a whole lot, 
Um, so yeah, I got these at Lush. This for free sample. This I paid, and I think this was only around $7 after tax. So really reasonable. So anyways, really freaking long haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I love you guys. I love doing hauls for you. I think that's my favorite type of thing to do because I love watching them. Um, and yeah, stay beautiful. Um, and I will talk to you hopefully fairly soon. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. And I will talk to you soon. Bye guys. Stay beautiful. Love you.